Barnet. God, it's warm in here, man. So, just thought I'd take the opportunity to respond to some of the articles that are out there. I've seen The Guardian, I've seen The Metro, I've seen The Standard, I've seen The Independent. All of them running articles of how Tommy Robinson should apologise to the victims of the Huddersfield grooming gang. That's right, I should apologise to the victims. Do you know what, I do. I apologise to every one of them. I apologise to them for the fact that Britain allowed this to happen to them. I apologise to them for the fact that the police done nothing, even when they were beaten, battered and bruised after being raped in the moors, in fields. The police still didn't press charges. I apologise for the fact that the girls' mums phoned and begged and cried themselves to sleep nightly, asking and begging for the people in positions of power. In, in our country, we have a, a system where when there's vulnerable children, people in positions of the council, of social services, of the police, are supposed to be there to protect them. So yes, I apologise that our country wholeheartedly let you down. If you notice now, the point I was making with these trials, if there wasn't a reporting restriction for the last 12 months, bearing in mind they've lifted it, they weren't going to lift it. They weren't willingly lifting it. They lifted it after a, 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 a challenge by the media. A challenge that the media decided not to do 12 months ago. Okay, They were quite happy not reporting on any of these crimes until the end. What you've seen now is when the verdicts have come out, when they're allowed to report it, one day's news. One day's news. Okay, And now all of them have already, they've already had enough of reporting on what happened to these girls. Now it's bashed Tommy Robinson with this story. Talk about, they talk about me trying to politicise and, and use gain of these trials. Look at them. One day they've given one evening of news and then it's Tommy Robinson could have collapsed this trial. Now just for all of those reporters, for Piers Morgan, for all of those alike who are, who are messaging this to say, look, he risked the trial. The court transcripts of the judge and the CPS both state nothing Tommy Robinson said could have caused prejudice to the trial. That means, for all you retards out there, that I didn't and couldn't have prejudiced the trial because all I said was what was already in the public domain. I made sure of that. I didn't assume guilt. I made sure of that. I made sure that everything, I went on my training course at one of the London's top law firms for contempt of court, I made sure I stuck by those guidelines. Now, am I sorry? More people, after me being imprisoned, yeah, it was crap, but more people than ever across this world are watching and reading and listening about Muslim rape squads that have been targeting our daughters. More people than ever. And, and I'm sweating in this room. But, so I just thought I'd clear up, and, it, and, and it's so obvious to look. It's so obvious. Just look, just search now. Tommy Robinson, Huddersfield. You'll find all the hit pieces, all of them coming out together, all the journalists, everyone with a blue tick, everyone with a blue tick, basically, coming out together saying, oh, look, he could have destroyed it. No. And all of these people, Lizzie Dearden, one of the people who runs a story, she runs a story about me, saying how I could have jeopardised this trial. In the court transcripts for my trial, which I've got, which I'll be producing as evidence on Tuesday, in the court transcripts, Lizzie Dearden, the same journalist writing the hit piece on me now, is named as breaching two reporting restrictions for the same case the same weekend. The only difference is Lizzie Dearden is very politically correct, won't mention the, at all the cause of this or the reason why these men have these misogynistic and sexist views. Nothing of course to do with their religious beliefs, nothing at all. Lizzie Dearden won't mention any of this, so Lizzie Dearden gets away with it, she doesn't get hauled behind before the courts or, or put in prison. Because I'll tell you why, because Lizzie Dearden, unfortunately for you Lizzie, only a maximum of about 30,000 people read your news, The Independent. I think your maximum readership is 50,000. So of course the government don't give a shit about you when you report all of their little toxic things. The difference is when I do a live stream like this one, it will end up going to hundreds of thousands, if not eventually millions of people. Which is why they want to shut me down, not you. They're not bothered about you, you play the mainstream line. You play the line that, oh, whatever, this could be anyone and it's, there's no problem here. It's got nothing to do with Islam. It's nothing to do with them. Whereas the reality is very different. The British public are waking up to that thanks to our own platforms. 
how long we have these platforms for, I don't know. But I just thought I'd clear up all of these articles I'm reading. I'm seeing MPs. MPs now coming out. Check this. MPs are now coming out saying how I must apologise. In this Huddersfield grooming case, it turns out that one of the victims wrote to the Prime Minister, one of the victim's mums, begging for help. One of the other victims went to her MP. So her MP knew. Her MP knew about these rapes and gangs before any of them were prosecuted. What did he do? Do any of you lot remember seeing him screaming on TV? Do any of you lot remember seeing any of these people talk about it? Any of these people? Or did they, were they all happy to let these young girls be sacrificed at the, at the hand of multiculturalism and the altar of diversity in our country? Anyway, I'm going to get back in the swimming pool.